So today's makeup tutorial is on this look. I really wanted to do something where I incorporated the fall colors of this season, but I wanted to also do something that was a little more simple than what I've been doing, oh, say for on my Instagram page, for example, where I incorporated a lot more smoky, bolder sort of looks. And uh, yeah, I wanted something that was simple and but shimmery, so and with an eyeliner to kind of give a little bit of glam, but also just something that I can wear during the day. But it's also something that could easily transition into the night. So by doing that, you could, instead of having this nude lip, you can pair it with a bold lip and just effortlessly transition into the evening. So yeah, if you like this look, then please continue to watch and thank you. So I'm going to start by piling this animal's nest I've got growing on top of my head and get it out of my face. Going into Mr. Matte by Givenchy. This stuff is really awesome to matte out and you can use it on top of your makeup as well. And I have my EX1 Cosmetics in F200. I love this stuff. This is by far one of my most favorite foundations. It is made specifically for those with olive skin. Going in with two different concealers, my Benefit Stay Don't Stray and NARS in Custard and just blending that out in all of the places that I would like a bit of highlight. And just using my Beauty Blender to blend that in. And I'm going to set that area where I applied those concealers with my e.l.f. Cosmetics under eye setting powder, which I love, as well as this HD powder by e.l.f. This is a palette, a face palette by IT Cosmetics, and I'm using the bronzer, which is a rich, uh, slightly on the cooler side sort of bronzer, and very matte but creamy. Although it is a powder, it just feels kind of like a creamy powder. And I'm using this to do a bit of warmth in the areas that I would normally contour, such as the sides of my nose, forehead, hollows of my cheeks, and jawline. I like to draw it in first before I blend out. I'm using a flat kabuki brush from Ink Cosmetics. I just love the way this brush blends in my powders. And it feels really soft on my skin. And just blend, blend, blend. I kind of am obsessed with blending. I'm using the warmth of my finger to prime my eye with Max Painterly Paint Pot and dusting that with some setting powder. I'm using two palettes from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, the World Traveler and the Artist Palette, starting with Buttery and dusting that all over my lid. Next I'm going in with Soft Peach to do a little bit of color correcting any blue areas on my lower lash line. Next I'm going into the same Shadow Couture palette and creating definition with the color Morocco, a beautiful matte red, and going over that with Orangey Fancy from the Artist palette. This will soften and give a bit of shimmer while still maintaining that definition. And then I will be taking a pencil brush and using both Morocco and Orangey Fancy under my eye just to tie the two colors together. And then I'm going in with Bellini from the Shadow Couture palette. And I've wet that actually with my very own homemade mixing medium. And then going in with Pink Champagne, wetting that with my mixing medium and topping off my lid. And I'm just going in layers. I'm not trying to pack in a whole bunch onto the brush. It does take a little time, but it's well worth it. Also went into the inner corners of my eye. And now I am lining my eyes with the Maybelline Studio in black. And please forgive me for this um, part. Yeah, I don't know what that is. 
I'm a very, very, very inexperienced YouTuber, as you can see, but there's the finished eyeliner. And I was so busy listening to music that I wasn't paying attention to actually being in the camera while doing any of this. This is an eyeliner from Tarte. It is the Tiger's Eye, which I love that color. It's one of my favorite colors, and I must always have it. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. No, it's not. I believe this is my NYX brow pencil and my NYX brow gel. Doing and doing my eye my eyebrows, grooming and using this mascara from Rimmel. I don't remember the name of it. Some kind of lash accelerator. They have a couple of them, and I will make sure to include that in the product description. My favorite lashes from Ardell 135s, and I love this glue from House of Lashes. Please ignore me. I've got music on the background. That's all I have to say about that. Placing these. These 135s are perfect because they're so light and they look so natural. This is BH Cosmetics blush palette. I'm using the most pink nude base shade and topping with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in So Hollywood. I love this stuff. It makes your skin look like glass. You can literally see somebody's reflection in it. I can fix my lipstick in somebody's face that's wearing this highlighter. Going in with my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Iconic Nude. By the way, with the highlighter, I did use it on all the high points. Tops of my cheeks, nose, uh, Cupid's bow. Going in with an orangey colored mix pencil, plus BH Cosmetics lipstick in peach, I believe is what it's called. It's a very creamy matte, demi matte. Topping with Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sunset Strip. I love this color. And letting down my rat's nest and putting it right back up. Here's the finished look. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching my very first video. And if you liked it, please let me know by leaving a comment or pressing the like button. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.